All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you could do me a favor, like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. What we've got here today is my 1942 Willys or Willis, depending on how you pronounce it, model MB. This Jeep is actually pretty rare. It's not like all the other military vehicle Jeeps that you see from World War II. They're very mainstream. This, if you can tell by the grill, is what's called a slat grill. This was a very early design in early 1942. Uh, and it's a very labor intensive design. If you look here at the bottom, this grill was handmade and it was welded one slat at a time. So this was not an efficient design. And what happened was Ford, who was also producing uh, Jeeps for the US military, they reached out to Willys Overland and came up with a better design, which is what you see today, which is the stamped grill. It is not the signature seven slot grill that Chrysler advertises. That is bogus that came after uh, the war in the CJ series, but the stamped grill is from Ford. Uh, other features of this very early 1942 slot grill, if you come over here at the gauges, the needle on the speedometer is actually different in the slot grill. Look at the fuel gauge, you notice it says gas. It doesn't say fuel. Fuel was later on in late 1942 when they added that. Before that, it said gas. If you come down here to the back of the vehicle, this jerry can is not original. I mean, the, the can itself is original, but the position of it on the Jeep is not. Uh, early 1942s did not have a jerry can. You can't really see it very well. You can kind of see it under the can where it says Willys on the body. That is also telltale of an early 1942. Willys and Ford put their name on the vehicles early on in production, and the U.S. military uh, did not want that. So by late 1942, the military basically told them, you can't put your name on it. So Willys changed uh, the body design, got rid of the name, and Ford put a stamped uh, script F on every single nut and bolt of the vehicle. Pop the hood here. Talk about a couple of other differences. If you look at the air cleaner, this is what's called the pancake style air cleaner. This was only in early 1942. After that, uh, the air cleaner design is different. If you look at the oil dipstick, this is also very early 1942. There are three different oil dipstick designs. This is the original. Uh, later on, they came out with two additional ones. Uh, so once again, this is the 1942 Jeep. Uh, in the next series of videos, we're going to be doing a little bit of work to it and or restoration. I did blow an engine head gasket the other day. There was a very significant amount of oil uh, and antifreeze mixed together. I drained the oil. It looked kind of like a milkshake uh, inside the oil canister uh, filter holder. It was totally neon green. So basically, uh, probably later today, I'm going to start taking it apart. I've drained the oil. I'm going to drain the engine coolant, uh, get the head off. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what we've got. I was able to pick up a new engine block, uh, which hopefully I will not have to use right now. This block does have some cracks in the water jackets. Uh, we're going to try to put a new gasket and see if that will help it. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, there is no glove box. The glove box was added in late 42, early 43. Uh, the original slot grills do not have the glove box. So please like and subscribe. Uh, there will be new videos posted hopefully once a week. Uh, I am simultaneously working on a Vespa restoration, which will be on the channel as well. Thanks for watching.